today I'm going to be teaching you all about Thunkable, an amazing platform for developing apps for your iOS or Android device. It is entirely web-based. You don't need to learn a single line of code and it's all block-based. We're going to go ahead and sign up by pushing the sign up button at the top right. If for some reason when you come to Thunkable and push sign up, if the sign up button doesn't work right now, uh, you might need to just use a different web browser. I had that problem in Chrome and so I'm just using Safari for today to make it work. I also wasn't able to log in and so again I just used my uh, Safari to do that. If you have a school Google account, you should sign up using that by go going ahead and clicking on sign up with Google. It's going to ask you for your school Google account. You can go ahead and click on it and then that's it. Your account's created. It has a few questions it wants you to answer like if you're a student, a parent, a teacher, a developer, whatever, and it also wants to know your level of experience so you can answer that. Uh, if you have no experience, if you have some experience, if you're a professional, whatever you want, go ahead and answer that question and then you're ready to start building. You can go ahead and click the start building button to get started. You have to give it a project name and you have to choose a category. Lucky for us at the bottom there's a just testing category which you can use when you are creating your very first few projects as you learn how to use Thunkable. Go ahead and hit create to get started and it takes you here to the main screen. I'd recommend logging off and logging back in to make sure your account still works. So I'm going to just say sign out. It takes me back to the main screen. I go ahead and click Google and log back in just to confirm everything is working before I continue. And that's it. That's how you set up a Thunkable account. We'll learn how to use it in the next video.